Hey, good morning everybody. This is Organic Dairyman and today is Tuesday, December 11th. And uh, yeah, it's not too bad of a day out. Or it doesn't look like it's gonna be too bad of a day. Sun is out, but yeah, I'm out here in the shed. I just was plugging in some of the tractors. Um, that tractor, the plug-in, isn't working on there. I'm gonna have to look at that. So I'm just gonna give that one some ether when I start it up for the feeding chores. But um, yeah, we're just you just gotta milk the cows here yet, and um, and um, I don't know. I think that that uh, the uh, mating guy um, he's gonna be coming here sometime late this morning, so I'm not for sure. Either late this morning or early this afternoon. Um, he's from over by Minnesota. God, I can't remember the name of the town he's from, but I, I know he's got to drive at least at least two hours to get here. Um, from over there in, in, in Minnesota, so um, So it'll be sometime like I say late this morning early this afternoon, and I'm gonna see if I can get a video shot of him just out there, you know You know he's, he's gonna walk in amongst the the heifers and stuff and look him over and things like that And I'll see if I can get a shot shot of him out there doing that and then I'll see if I can get an interview or a quick little interview with him um like I say, it just depends on if he wants to be on camera. Um, that's one thing I found out with doing YouTube. So not everybody wants to be in camera. Some people don't want their face shown. Some people don't want to know. <laughs> they, just, they just don't, you know, they're not um, social media type people. So I'll see. I'll ask him or I'll try to ask him anyway. If I, Hopefully I can get around if I'm not busy with something else. Um, and like said, I'm going to try. It doesn't mean I can't promise anything. But I'm going to try and see what I can get. Um, just depends on here for time today what, what happens here. But I'll, I'll try my best to get get at least something for you guys. So anyways, i got to get going here. So I'll check back with you later. Hey everybody, um, I'm here with um, Joel from uh, AAA Mating Service and uh, he was here um, doing some mating up for cows and matching them up with the correct bulls and everything so um, he uh, just got done doing everything here so he decided he was going to take a little time and uh, um, I'll ask him a couple questions and um, yeah so, um, so anyways Joel what is it that when you're um you 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 come to somebody's farm and you're gonna match up their the cows and everything mate do the mating and whatever what is it that you're looking for well basically it's a program of a uh, numbering system and it's triple a is the name of it and it's animal analysis associates is what triple a stands for and it's a numbering system of six numbers and each number means something one two three four five and six and one, two, three is a sharp or angular number, and four, five, and six is a round or stronger number. Um, the first, it's either a one or a four, two or a five, or three or a six, and that's kind of what I'm looking at on the cow. I mean, we look for- And then you have a bull that corresponds- And in, the way the, the bulls are done is actually, it's onto the producer's part of it for the bull, the- They shoot. Be, be determined because all the animal analysis numbers are on the bulls, are at the bull stud, and we do the bulls also. So we're just actually analyzing the animal, and we're matching, letting the farmer match it up to the bull of any sort that he wants. So it's an unbiased approach to anybody that wants to use the system or any bull stud or a group of bulls or some private individual gets their bulls done. They can use it as a mating service on their own, and that's. And we're looking for the strong parts of the animal. I mean, the, the one and the four is. Uh, it's either a dairy individual for one or a strong for the four. And I mean, we're looking for the, the structure of the animals if they got the um, strong bones to them, uh, dairy refined tail head, or are they strong or more substance to them, a stronger head, a wider muzzle, uh, chest and the legs are more sturdy and things like that. There's a breakdown in a sheet that will pass out to a producer when we come on to the place that it shows all the faults that we are looking for on the female end of it and on the man, the man that tells the strengths of the male. And I mean, it's, 
the number is line up we go from the weakness of the cow the weakest part of her to her strongest of three different things and on the bull it goes from their best trait that he'll transmit according to the substance or looking at the bull itself and that's kind of the gist of the program and i mean if you want to look at it more we have a website of AAA Animal Analysis Associates. There's some distinguishing there, or you can call. There's uh, a group of guys in the United States and some in the European countries, and one in, two are in Canada. One, I'm not sure if Australia has one right now, but I mean, there's different countries that we can get people to. The home office is in uh, uh, North Clarendon, Vermont, and I mean that's the headquarters of the company. And, all contribute to the process as a whole group. So what is like this dairy producer, what are they going to benefit from a service like yours? Like, the is they going to help them make more money and be more profitable in the end and things like? The biggest thing that benefit the producer is it's an unbiased approach that you make more money and we're going to balance the animal out. And the more balance you get of an animal, the more true type and the more efficient they are. They're going to, you'll lower your feed costs and you can raise your components or you get more structurally sound animals. You've got less vet bills. And uh, the more balance, is, you can't say that enough, but the more balance of an animal, the better profitability is for the dairy farmer. If you raise components or if you got less feed costs or if you got less vet bills and things like that is all contributes to it. It's kind of a, a win-win for the... The producer, and I mean, it's a minimal charge. It's a one-time charge for the um, animal itself. It's so much a number. It's six dollars for the animal, but I mean, and then we come back. If you think something ain't right on animal, there's uh, no charge on a redo or looking at it a second time. And I like to do as heifers if they do them, and then again as they calf in. And then if a producer thinks that the calf ain't is you know, improvement from what he had from the mother, we should look at her again because uh, I think every generation should get better. If it's not but, doing that, we're not working together and getting the job done. Yeah, with, with time, everything will come together. And I mean, usually you can tell on your first crop of calves that there'll be more balance and uh, uniformity within the group. That's the first sign of it, but I mean, it takes a while. You made them now and you breed them, it takes nine months and you see before you see any calves born from the results and then you got. Uh, two years before they're in the milk and string, so I mean you are got two years and nine months from the, your initial investment to see if it's paying out. But what have you seen from like herds that have been doing this for a while? Like, like it, It's really a benefit to those that keep on with it and they can uh, see the benefits of it and they will not uh, back off of it or they continue to do it just this. because they've seen the results of it. and. Um, it's efficiency to them, and it's, it even helps in uh, bad, uh, lower economical times. They got more efficient cattle, and it seems like they're just more sound. And they say if uh, you're buying replacements today, in three, three to four years, you will be selling replacements because the surplus will be enough that you can go ahead and make profitability on that end of it. Okay. So that's. Uh, so it's definitely definitely worth doing it then. Yeah, I would. I'm saying so, absolutely. And you've been doing it for how, how many years? Have you been doing this? I've been out on the road for 11 years now. I've been affiliated with it uh, probably six, eight years before that, and I got acquainted with it. And it was uh, 1972, so it was the first access to it. But I never really went in depth on it or understood a whole lot about it until yeah. the last. Uh, 16, 18 years ago. Yeah. So okay guys, you can see you can see all the benefits from you know working with a service like his and uh, you know if you're interested, you know, you know, I don't know if there's other ser other providers out there too or the way this is his, his service, but yeah, it's definitely worth something to check out to, to get into something like that. But but yeah, so um, anyways, I want to thank you. Thank you for your uh, helping us. So anyways, good luck and if I can help you, give me a ring or let Paul know here and we'll get the yeah. pointer to get together. If you want to, you could just uh, uh, send me an email or something. I got an email down on my, uh, on my account there, on my YouTube page. So go to the about page, you can check it out. And we can get you hooked up with him. If you're in the Midwest, upper Midwest here, we can get you hooked up. So, so anyways, uh, that's it for now.
Boy guys, check this out. Oh, that's such a beautiful, nice, gorgeous fall evening. Winter-like fall evening. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought I had to show you guys you guys that. Um yeah, it isn't the temperature isn't too bad. Uh, it's below freezing, but it's still for this time of year. It's not too bad at all. But I just thought I had to show you guys that quick. But I got to get back to uh finishing up a few chores here and then I'll get back with you in a little bit. One last chore that I gotta do. Yes, I gotta drive the combine out because we need to get some bales, um, some hay out for the dry cows. I can't get in here because of the corn head. So, one more job yet. So, gotta get this uh, thing out of here, out of the way. Starts up. Oh. Starts right up. Good. Let it sit in here and warm up for a little bit, and uh, I get my get the hay out and get the dry cows a bale of hay as well. They might they might not need one tonight, but they're gonna need one in the morning for sure. But we gotta get this out of the way anyway. everybody um, I'm all done with all the chores as you can see I just drove the tractor in here and um, yeah so we're done with everything for the day other than just to do the evening milking um, but yeah so um, I don't know I might just work on that thing up there for a little bit here after I get done um, talking with you guys um, yeah so um, yeah, I was gonna say too if you um, about Joel there from uh, AAA Mating Service. If you are interested in getting in touch with him, like I said earlier, just um, go to my YouTube channel page and then click on the About section, then go down there and send me an email. Or if you're on Instagram or Twitter too, you could go and send me a direct message there and I will get you hooked up with Joel. Um, don't think that you're too far away to have him come. Um, he told me off camera that he said he has been to Texas and he has been to Kentucky to do um, do, a, do this mating service for um, dairy, dairy farms. So, so if you're, you know, if you're even in the state of New York, you're in wherever, you're in Ohio, Illinois, he will come to your place and, uh, mate, you know, do his mating service, for, you know, for your herd, get your, um, look over your herd and you heard everything that he, how he explained how he does it. So, um, he doesn't obviously use any fancy computers or anything like that, but, um, yep, pretty much, you know, he's been doing, like he said, he's been doing it for 11 years, so. Um, he's got a lot of experience, and so I guess I mean you heard it from him. So, um, yeah. So go, um, if, like I say, if you're interested, if you're improving your milk cows, you're interested in improving your genetics in your herd, and um, like I say, shoot me an email or check or send me a direct message. Direct message to me on Instagram or Twitter, and I'll I'll give you his number, get you hooked up with him, and um, yeah, you can go from there. So. Yeah, so anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that little interview, and um, yeah, 
kind of blowing some steam. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's about it for today. I don't know tomorrow what we'll be up to. Tomorrow is Wednesday already, Wednesday. And uh, I know I gotta finish that up. I'm gonna work on it a little bit more here and then I gotta work on uh, this thing over here. I didn't get any more done with this. I gotta get this tank heater working. I just don't know. I'm gonna think I'm just gonna have to replace the whole cord on here. But it just is not working. So. Yeah, so I got that to deal with. I know we got to get this thing out and work, take it out and work it hard sometimes because it's getting, it's getting that on there. Um, anybody that works with diesel engines knows what that is. It's just, basically it's because it ain't working hard enough. It's a little bit of, it's just a little bit of unburnt fuel. Fuel that isn't, um, isn't properly getting burnt. And the injectors could be getting weak. You know, maybe they're dribbling a little bit. Um, so, but yeah, I need to take out, take it out, and work it, put it on the feed grinder, take this thing off the feed grinder, and put that tractor on, put that tractor on the feed grinder, and work the snot out of it, and get that done. But, anyways, so um, that's about all I've got for today. Tomorrow, let's see. I know what we'll be doing tomorrow. I can't even think right. Now. <laughs> think about a whole other day, but. Um, yeah, let's see tomorrow. What are we going to be doing? Hmm. Probably just chores, so. Um, I'll find something. Well, I'll find something to do to get to do a video about tomorrow. I, I hope I can find something, but. Um, yeah. So, anyways, I'm, I'm just going to do a little bit of work on that, and I'm going to go. I got to go grab a bite to eat. Get some food in my tummy. And uh, yeah. So anyways, like I say, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoyed the interview today. And um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, drop it down in the comment section below. And uh, please, if you have not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And um, check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Organic Dairyman. And thanks everybody that has subscribed to my channel. I do appreciate each and every one of you. And um, yeah, so whew, and what else? Oh yeah, check out all my other videos if you want to um, share them with uh, share them with friends and family. And um, yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna do a little work on that, and uh, I guess I will. Catch you guys later.